Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today's topic of interest, we're talking all about your modem activation. We're talking about when you need to activate your modem. We're talking about how to do that. Everything you need to know that pertains to activating your modem, we'll cover that today. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost, let's talk about the situations where you need to activate your modem. And there are two main situations where this applies. The first is when you're first setting up your home network. You're initializing your internet plan, you're setting up your modem for the first time, you're setting up your router for the first time. That's when you first need to activate your modem. The second time that we're referring to here is any time you want to change your modem. Say you want to upgrade your modem to a, new, a newer version, or maybe your modem fails and you have to get a new modem. In any case where your modem is changing, that's when you'll need to activate your modem with your internet service provider or ISP. Now that we've talked about when you need to activate your modem. Let's actually talk about what acting, what activating your modem does in the first place. When you activate your modem, you're essentially telling your internet service provider, hi, my name is so-and-so and this is my modem. So why is this important? This is important because at the internet service provider level, they keep track of your account and they map it to your modem's identifier. And we'll get into that a bit later. So don't worry about the details for now. Just know that your internet service provider maps your internet plan and your internet account to your modem. That's how they know that you're a paying customer. That's how they know the bandwidth that you're supposed to get with your internet plan. That's the connection between your internet account and your home. That happens through the activation of your modem. So think about it this way. What if you have your, your internet service provider, they have your internet plan, and they have that plan mapped to a specific modem in your home, and then you go and connect a new modem, what does that look like? The internet service provider all of a sudden says, we're currently sending an internet plan to a device and we don't know what internet account this device is tied to. This is an identification number for a device that we haven't seen yet. So rather than giving out their services and their internet for free, they're going to cut off the internet. They're going to say, hold up, until this device identifies the internet plan that it's associated with, we're not going to send internet to it. It's as simple as that. And that's why you need to activate your device in the first place to say, hey, I want to tie this device to my internet plan. That's basically the long and short of it. Okay, so let's say we want to activate our modem. What do we need? Before we jump into this process, which I'll show you here, there are a few things you should gather first. The first is your login information for your internet service provider's account. So you'll have an account with your internet service provider. You can go to their website. If you're not sure what your username and password is, you can work with the internet provider to collect that information. You can hit forgot my password or not sure what my login is, and they'll help you find your account. Once you have that information, the next thing you need is your modem's identifier. The fancy term for this is your modem's MAC address, your modem's media access control address. You can find that usually on a sticker that's on the device, usually on the bottom of the device. If you see right here, I have it covered up, but it will be a 12, a 12 character alphanumeric identifier. What does that mean? It has numbers, it has letters, it's 12 digits, 
and it should say Mac. It'll say Mac address. Let's see if my modem has it. It might not be very clear, to be honest. There it is. You can see it right there. It says Mac right there. Next to it will be the 12 characters, the alphanumeric characters. That's how you know that's your MAC address. So now that we have our internet service provider login information and the MAC address for my modem, we have everything we need. You usually have a few options when it comes to activating your modem. You can either do it through your internet service provider's website or more often than not, your internet service provider will have an application, a mobile application. You download it on your phone and you can do it through your phone. In my case, my internet provider, they won't even let me activate my modem on their website. I have to go through the mobile application. So I downloaded the mobile application and I'll walk you through the steps right now. Well, I'll show you, I took a screen grab of the steps that I had to take. So let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to go into our internet service providers application. So let's click on the application up here in the left hand corner. Once that fires up, it's going to require you to sign in. This is where you enter your username and password password that you have with your internet service provider. Okay, now that you're in the application, you can see up top that my modem is online, but let's pretend that I want to activate a new modem here. So we're going to scroll down, and you'll eventually see you can restart your modem through the app, but more importantly, this section here. Got new equipment to set up? Yes, we do. We have a new modem that we want to activate. So you go to activate now. Here, because it's our own device, we're not renting a modem or a modem router combination device from the internet service provider. So we want to select your own modem. Okay, we want to start our activation. And it's going to walk you through a few steps here. First, it's going to make sure that you have a cable outlet that you can connect your modem to. The next one is you want to connect a coaxial cable to this cable outlet. And then on top of that, you want to connect the other end to your modem. And it talks about this here. It gives you instructions on how to do that. You select next. Power up. The next thing they want you to do is turn your modem on and let it fire up. And then you say ready to go. Now, once your modem is on, everything is connected. You need to enter the MAC address of your modem. So go in and enter that information now. We should have collected that information before we started this process, so it should be pretty easy here. So let's go ahead and enter that. Okay, once you've entered your MAC address and selected Next, we're going to check the connection. So you hit Check Connection, and it will make sure that it can recognize the new modem that you connected to your internet connection. And then it will take you here onto this next screen where your service will be activated. And it gives you an estimate, estimated time for that activation. As you can see, for me, it is five minutes. I have actually timed this before, and it has taken two minutes and 55 seconds. This experience will likely be different for everybody, but that is a good ballpark to go by. After a, after a set of time here, it will notify me that my service is activated. So let's wait for that now. All right, here we go. Here's our notification that our modem has been activated. At this point, we're in good shape. We should be able to try the internet and make sure that we have an internet connection. But that's all you have to do. We'll go to continue to Xfinity. 
and it takes you back to the home page and you are good to go. That just about covers it for activating your modem. As you can see, it's a pretty simple process. If that was quick for you or you want more context, I will link to a blog post that I've written below. It walks through all of this information, gives a little bit more detail, so you might find that useful as well. If you have any questions about this material, please drop a comment below. If you found this video useful, helpful, entertaining, all the above, please hit it with a like or a subscribe. There'll be plenty more content where this came from, and hopefully you find it useful. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.